What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Persona 5. I'm Joshua Jericho, and we are apparently going into the Velvet Room. The prisoner has returned. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! The bonds that you have reeled in are quite intriguing. In other words, they all have been unfairly labeled by society, and are standing up against such fates. Have you noticed? Your heart seems to inspire theirs. <laughs> Outcasts of society, in other words your picaresque, deepen your bonds with them. Those will become the strength behind your rehabilitation. I look forward to it. I shall grant you an ability befitting of your newfound growth. Consider it a gift. Sweet. May you continue devoting yourself to further rehabilitation. Yay! What did I get? Your persona is stocked to 10. Yes! It's almost time. More personas. More personas. Why are we going to school? You are Sai-san's younger sister, correct? May I talk to you for a moment? Is it about the Phantom Thieves, Akechi-kun? You're quite perceptive. I was wondering if there were any points in common between Kamoshida's and Madarame's cases. There have been victims, after all. The Phantom Thieves need to be pursued. You criticize the Phantom Thieves, yet you don't doubt their actual existence. Oh, you saw that show on TV. Common sense can get in the way at times when pursuing the truth. Many details become logical if I think on the premise that they do exist. It kind of reminds me of Light from um, Death Note. I wonder if he's supposed to. Is this because my sister told you to do so? It was just a coincidence. Why do I get the feeling that you're enjoying this? You may be right. Huh? Phantom thieves that use calling cards and succeed in their crime? As the so-called charismatic detective, it'd be hard for me not to see them as my rival. You have such high self-esteem. So the Phantom Thieves are evil, and you are just? Compared to people who manipulate others' hearts as they see fit, I believe I'm on the side of justice. Besides, I'm only using my natural-born talents for the sake of serving the world. Don't you think the same about yourself, too? I... Oh, that's surprising. So, you're just the good girl type of pushover. Wow! Oh, looks like it's starting soon. See you later. Give Sai-san my regards. Why does everyone get on my case? He's kind of an arse. Such a delight to enjoy coffee of this quality. You could stay until you find a place, you know. I can't promise that it'd be comfortable here, though. You guys remember when so when we first moved in and Sojo was like, It's so much trouble to have a kid around. I can't believe I did this. What was I thinking? And now he's all like, 
Well, you know what? You could stay too. I don't care. What's two kids? It's like it's kind of like the cat theory. Like you, those people that have like too many cats. You go, like you get one cat, and you're like, oh, what cat is great? And then all of a sudden you got twelve cats. You're like, ah, what's one more cat? Who really cares anyway? Once you get one cat, your house smells like cr cat crap all the time, and you always hear meowing, and everything's too hot, and there's hair everywhere. So. One cat to twelve cats, it doesn't matter. Your house is always going to smell like crap. You're always going to have... It's always going to be too hot. There's always going to be meowing. I'm not a cat person anymore. Thank you, but I'll return to the dorms. I realized something after talking with everyone last night. Perhaps it's due to my upbringing, but I don't know anything of the world, let alone other people. If I'm to depict people in my art, I need to learn more about them. I must interact with them more. I'll return to the dorms and start over by talking with the people closest to me. I see. Good on you for realizing that yourself. There's no need to exaggerate. May I come again sometime to enjoy your coffee? My doors are always open. He's been through a lot too, from what I've heard. Are you related to him? Huh? Oh, uh, how would I describe it? We're just acquaintances, not family or anything. I may be overstepping my bounds, but why did you decide to take him in? My reason, huh? <laughs> Probably because he reminds me of my old self. That's all? doesn't take much when someone takes consideration on someone else. Your art instructor, um, uh, former art instructor, he must have felt something for you too, besides just stealing your talents. Truth be told, I cannot hate him from the depths of my heart either. I should probably get going. Hey, you sure about this? The painting, I mean. It'd be a waste to keep here. Even if I kept it at the dorms, it'd only be met with skepticism. I doubt it would want that. Adding a hint of color to an otherwise ordinary day. I'm sure my mother would have done the same. I see. I'll hold on to it for you then. That's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Thank you for the coffee. I'll come again. I'm kind of glad he's not, like, just living here now. <laughs> that was kind of worrying me a little bit. Hey! You're finally awake. Where's Yusuke? He wasn't around when I woke up. He must be downstairs. You up? Ah, you're finally up. You know it's past noon? That kid ended up going back to his dorms. He left this painting before he took off, though, supposedly to thank us for taking care of him. Sayuri. Hmm. It's rare to see a kid acting so grateful these days. And this painting is amazing. Not only is it the mother's not only is the mother stunning, but the expression on her face. The regulars will probably freak out when they see I'm in here. Still, I feel like I've seen it somewhere. It's a bit different from how I remember it, though. Hey. Well, if you're up for the day, go on and get dressed. I opened shop hours ago, so go take the cat out somewhere. Yeah, get out of my apartment. Thank you again for letting me stay the night. Apologies for leaving so quietly, but your rest seemed peaceful. After a great deal of inner struggle, I have decided to return to the dormitories. Furthermore, I've entrusted the Sayori to your protector, Sojuro. That painting should no longer exist in reality, but it is truly what my mother painted. I am simply satisfied that we were able to obtain it. And it was all because of you guys, I can't thank you enough. Yes, I still believe porridge is the best way to end a hot pot. Weird that I don't have, like, a confidant with him. Since he's on the team. Hey, hey. So Yusuke went home, huh? Well, guess that's the best. 
Yo, I just checked the fan site. There's some kind of thread on there looking for info about burglars using the Phantom Thieves name. Sounds pretty lame to me. Oh, I saw that too. They're targeting restaurants, right? I actually found a really interesting post on there. My brother has suddenly started acting violent towards everyone. I might end up getting killed at this rate. I wonder if it's because he got caught up with all those weird people in Shibuya. You think he means those burglars when he's talking about them weird people? It may be too soon to assume that. The past, the post said he started spending a bunch of money lately too. Isn't that kind of suspicious? I wonder how many burglar groups there are, there even are in Shibuya. Damn, things are really starting to get serious. Let's look into it. I thought you'd say that. Although, how exactly will we go about investigating? We'll go to Shibuya in the middle of the night and catch them all red-handed. <laughs> what? No way, the police would totally nab us if we were out that late. Plus, it would be bad if the chief knew we weren't. We were out in the middle of the night. Mm. If they target restaurants... Aha, what if we drew them to LeBlanc? What? Hmm. There's no way. Who would go after a shop like this? Wouldn't that cause a lot of trouble for Boss? LeBlanc targeted. It seems like a viable plan to me. Oh man, but I live here. I don't know if I really want them... Well, let's do it. Cut it out. You get kicked out of LeBlanc if you failed. Oh, I suppose I left the Sayuri there as well. I had forgotten. How'd you forget something that important? Either way, I don't really want more thieves to be post to be posing as us in the future. I wish there was some way we could make an example of these ones. At the moment, our lack of info means we will just have to wait. We can continue searching for more information whenever possible, though. Yeah, I'm going to try looking for stuff, too. Okay! Let's see what we got. What did everyone else do? Not a lot of stuff going on. How are you, my little guinea pig? I love that she gave me a nickname. If you're in good health, I'd like to do a test on you. I'll give you a special discount on my medicine. What if you get a nosebleed from all the excitement? I do want to do that, but it is a Sunday and there's like other things you can do, you know? Although I can't do much with it on today. I wonder if there's a new theater or a new theater. What if there's a new movie out? Kick that rises. I think you've had enough of that one. Let's come back some more. When is this movie gonna switch over? How has the Kick Night Rises been in the theater for two months now? Or three months even? That movie's gotta switch over at some point, right? I don't even feel realistic anymore. Oy. Let me see my stats. How are my stats doing? I haven't really worked on stats, like, seriously in a while. Two on everything except charm. Really not sure how to get charm. When is the next test? Now that we figured we're finished the build trip, what do we got coming up on the calendar? Nothing for a while, apparently. Final exams are... Roughly one month, well, one month away, exactly, almost. Okay, so, that probably means that tomorrow we're going to get something about the target. So I'm going to guess in this week coming up, it's going to be a lot of going to the other place, probably. So whatever I do today needs to be big, because if you look at the calendar, you got roughly one month until final exams, so... 
we're gonna get something this week and then the deadline will probably be around the second of the month or the third probably something like that and we'll get a week to do whatever we need to do to study for tests then you got tests and then summer break starts and they usually do something at the beginning of summer break like a trip or something and then we'll actually have like an event happen during summer break then we go back to school so that's kind of my guess so my guess is next week we'll get a new something about the target so they've already mentioned the restaurants and stuff so it'll happen somewhere in here in these next three days we'll meet the target or get information or whatever and then we'll have a deadline for around the 30th to the first somewhere in that area so we get two weeks usually then we have tests so this week we'll probably be dedicated to studying a lot um mm, so today's kind of the last day i can really go and do stuff so i guess we'll go hang out with my crush my doctor crush you seem to be enjoying this too have you gotten used to the taste Stop by the clinic, everything's ready. Why not? <sighs> okay, that's all for today. If you're feeling okay, you can go home now. Hello? Hello, Dr. Takami's Clinic of Internal Medicine. What? Again? That's, well, that ship's already sailed, so... What a pain. You remember that girl from the other day? The chief of staff Oyamada's patient? Her dad's been bringing her here to be treated even though I referred them to another hospital. I even told them about the medical error I made. They trust you. I'm just a quack though. Hmm. The medical error was well documented. Everyone in the my field knows about it. I led the development of a new drug for an incurable illness called Crawford Inns disease. Although I wasn't the one who administered the medicine, it was the cause of the error. With Crawford Inns, certain cells indiscriminately attack other cells throughout the body. When it reaches the muscles, the patient slowly begins to die. There hasn't been much progress made on it, partly because there haven't been many cases of it. I worked with a pharmaceutical company that had researched the final stage of production, but one day I was suddenly removed from my position. That chief of staff, Oyamada, my superior at the time, took over the entire operation. I don't know if he wanted the glory of being or developing a new drug or to become rich and famous, but he made careless mistakes and rushed completion so he could use it on a patient named Mila. Miwa-chan had a reaction and lapsed into critical condition. The chief panicked and laid the blame on me. Miwa-chan and her family resented me. No matter what I said, I couldn't change how they felt about me. It's not too late. That's fine. Well, no, that doesn't matter. The development of the medicine was supposed to was suspended, so I had no reason to stay at that hospital. At least now I can keep working as a general practitioner on my own terms, with my guinea pig. Yeah, that's me! That's the new medicine I've been trying out on you. This version is in the final stages of testing. It searches for those cells that take the offensive and destroys them upon detection. That's why it's harmless for people who don't have the disease, probably. When will it be done? Um, that all depends on how cooperative you are. Hey. You'd better not flake on me this late in the game. I'm inching closer to the finish line, but I need your help to reach it. In exchange, I can offer you medicine at a special price. I'm counting on you, guinea pig. Could I go on a date in exchange instead? Dr. Sexy Legs? <laughs> See, we have, we have pet names for each other. She calls me her guinea pig, I call her Dr. Sexy Legs, 
It's great. We have this relationship growing. I feel getting closer. Like, our bond is growing even deeper. Add support items to the inventory at the clinic. All right. Now, what should I do about that girl and her dad? Being mean and scaring them hasn't worked. It's been a while since I've had to deal with this kind of nuisance. It's stressing me out. Oh, sorry, that's all I wanted to talk to you about. You can go home now. I feel like cooperating in that shady clinical trial has increased my guts. Yay. All right. Bye. Okay, thanks for your hard work. Ah, you're back. So what do you want to do about our next big target? Well, that's sudden. Well, after what that guy said, sitting around doing nothing just pisses me off. Everything pisses you off, Ryuji. Seriously, you're just like a I was trying to think of a not disgusting metaphor and I can't come up with one, so I'm just gonna let it go. But everything pisses you off. You're talking about Aki, or Akechi Kun, right? I know how you feel. Ah, that high school detective. He'd have to shut up if we change another person's heart. You think so? Come on, you gotta be more confident about this kind of stuff. But he did mention that the police are starting to mobilize. Either way, I don't think we should leave Akechi Kun be. This is the perfect time to meet and discuss what our strategy should be going forward. Let us gather at the hideout tomorrow. See? Here we go. Told you guys. That's how the pattern works. Once you kind of learn the pattern... Today's Sunday. I can't hang out with her, can I? Sojuro. Oh yeah, I can work at the beef bowl place so that I can make friends with speech giving, man. Ah, what personas do I have on me right now? I don't have one for Hierophant, so I guess I'm not going to be hanging out with Sojuro. No crossword puzzle. Can't do Kava, can I? She's not going to oh. be. Friday and Saturday, right? Bye. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Alright, well, we'll take a break here on this episode. I'll think about what I want to do, and when I'm ready, I'll start up another episode. So I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching.